Okay. Yay. Okay. Season two. About to start. Okay. How should I start off? Um. Oh, I know. Hi. Welcome back. We're in season two. Season two. Welcome to season two. And if you hated season one, then why are you still here? Even if you did hate season one and you're back for season two, well, I'm coming back. Welcome back. I hope you had an awesome Christmas break. I know I did. I got to go home and be with my family. And we just pretty much chilled and it was awesome. Yeah. And Happy New Year! Yay! So sorry. Noises and stuff. Yeah, so we're in a new year now. Probably means you all have New Year's resolutions that you're not going to do. Or that you've started and you'll end in January. New Year's resolutions suck. That's why I stopped doing New Year's resolutions, because they don't work. So today, we're going to be talking about New Year's resolutions when you are a student. So, first math, who really has time as a student to do New Year's resolutions? Nobody really has time to do New Year's resolutions. It's kind of something that we say we're going to do, but really, who does it? Someone who is watching this, comment below if you have finished a New Year's resolution. And it can't be, oh, I did it for a month. No, it has to be for, like, the whole year or you finished it within the year. Okay, go. I won't have to wait long because nobody has finished them. If I'm wrong, prove me wrong. Comment below. The most common New Year's resolution is, oh, I'm gonna eat healthy. Because I got a stomach. First off, it's okay. Well, I shouldn't say this. It's not okay to be overweight because that's not healthy for you. But you shouldn't try to be a twig because that's not gonna happen. I know <laughs> for me, I like sweets and I like chocolate and I like candy. And sometimes I'm just like, I wanna eat all of this all at once. I know I don't want to be 200 pounds and on YouTube all day, mm. so maybe I should stop, you know, all the sweets and stuff, but then I'm like, I need chocolate. <laughs> chocolate is a beautiful thing, isn't it? I love chocolate. I love chocolate. No. So I don't like to call them resolutions because we all know we don't do resolutions. So why don't we just call them goals in general? Like when you achieve a goal rather than a little resolution, it feels so much better. Because it's just like, oh, a resolution is I have to do this. But if you achieve a goal, then you feel so much better about it. Goal. Maybe your goal, not resolution, will be to go out and do stuff more. What's outside? What is this term you speak of? What? I'm sorry, I was watching this video about a cat. It's really funny. Maybe it won't take you a year to do it. Maybe it'll take you five years until you'll be like, no, Bailey, you're not going to eat that fifth chocolate bar. What I'm saying is, don't call them resolutions because they're. No, everybody knows those don't work. Just call them goals. Yeah. Second off, people keep buzzing me, jeez. Second off, who has time to do resolutions? Is this entertaining to you? It is to me. R2-D2, do you have time for resolutions? No! We actually all have time to do stuff. We just choose not to do it. Like, the two hours I was on YouTube, I could have been doing something else. Like, reading doing my homework, not being on YouTube. I really like YouTube. What's happening to me? Realistically, we all have time to do it. It's just whether or not we have effort to do it. That was bad English, let me try that again. It's not whether we have time to do it, it's whether we have the energy and commitment to do it. That's the right word. While you are in school, then A, one, A, same thing. A, pick something easy for you to accomplish. So if you like to snack on chips, maybe get some healthy chips. Like, um, instead of getting the Doritos, get like the multigrain tor tortito chips. What are they called? Tostito. I knew that. 
Make it easier for yourself and then go up on the ladder of your goals, not your resolutions, because they're goals. Well, that's all we have time for today. Um, just, this one's going to be shorter uh, because, you know, trying to get into the swing of things again. Um, next week will be a little bit longer, like my usual episodes. Okay, yeah, that's all I have to say today. Good luck with your goals. Your goals. That's what we learned today, right? I hope you had a great beginning of your new year and a fantastic Christmas. And I'll see you all next week. Goodbye.